So, um, Clausius Clapeyron equation, uh, the normal boiling point of benzene is 80.1 degrees Celsius, and the heat of vaporization is 30.8 kilojoules per mole. What is the boiling point of benzene in degrees Celsius on the top of Mount Everest, where the pressure is 260 millimeters of mercury? Okay, so let's write down what the problem gives us. So it says um, that we've got T1, normal boiling point, is 80 point, here, let's move over. Am I in the camera there? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so T1 is 80.1 degrees C. And it says the normal boiling point, so that means the pressure, do you guys know what the pressure would be? 1 atm, right? Okay, but the other pressure is given to us in millimeters of mercury, so let's put this one in millimeters of mercury too. So that would be 760 millimeters of mercury. Okay, so pressure 1 is 760 millimeters of mercury. Um, it gives us the felted heat of vaporization is 30.8 kilojoules per mole. I also gave us pressure 2 at the top of Mount Everest at 260 millimeters of mercury. Um, and it wants to know, well, what would be the new boiling point? So that would be T2. Is everybody okay with all of that stuff? Okay. So now you have to remember, well, how do I do this problem? Use the Clausius Clapeyron equation. Okay, so ln P2 over P1 equals negative delta H bat heat of vaporization over R. Remember that's the new R that we just described or we just converted. 1 divided by T2 minus 1 divided by T1. So what are we looking for? We're looking for T2 here. Okay, so you can go ahead and solve for this, um, like isolate that variable, or you can just plug and then isolate the variable. Um, it doesn't matter to me. Um, so let's semi-isolate the variable. How about that, okay? So what we'll do is just put one over T2 minus one over T1, and set that equal to the ln of P2 over P1. So that's all, like that, times R divided by delta H that, right? So that's going to be negative, all that stuff. Is everybody okay with that? And then if you really wanted to, we could say, well, add 1 over T1 to everything. So we get 1 over T2 equals, we'll say negative ln P2 over P1 times R divided by delta H bath. Right, and we're adding, so add that to 1 over T1. Let's solve for that. Is everybody okay with that? So I'm going to erase the top two. Remember, R is given to us as 8.314 joules per mole kelvin. Okay. So what does that mean for this temperature here? What do we got to do to it? Convert it to kelvin. 
Okay, so how do we do that? 273 to that. So. Kelvin. And remember, it asked us to give T2 in degrees Celsius. So we got to watch out and convert that back from Kelvin when we get there. Okay. So.
subtract 273 Kelvin from that. We get 47.3 degrees. That's the final answer. Okay, so are there any questions about doing something like this? Okay, I've got a couple more, a few more, I think, recorded. So if you're having trouble, they're solving for different variables. Okay? Questions before I kill it? Okay, good.